We had previously reported on the phase one safety data of ZW25. Uh, here we report the you know, uh, extended safety data as well as efficacy signal in the gastric and the non-breast, non-gastric cohorts. Uh, in the trial, we enrolled patients that were HER2 ampl amplified or HER2 overexpressing. Um, patients that had gastric, gastroesophageal cancer, had previously uh, been exposed to HER2 targeted therapy. And uh, patients with other tumor types were al allowed to have prior HER2 therapy. So overall, uh, more than half of the patients had been previously treated with HER2 targeted therapy. And, uh, you know, this was a heavily pretreated population. Uh, pa there was a median of four lines of therapy. Um, we had uh, in this study, 58 patients that had safety valuable in, in these disease types. And overall, we had no new safety signals. This is a well-tolerated drug. Uh, we saw that um, you know, uh, there were some infusion reactions or diarrhea that was medically manageable. Uh, no cardiac concerns. Um, we had 46 patients where we, we uh, were able to assess uh, efficacy. Across the board, there was a 35% partial response rate. Uh, this uh, was, uh, you know, interesting in that we had signal in multiple tumor types. Uh, it, we had, um, you know, limited number of patients with biliary cancer. You know, of the six that had uh, efficacy valuable, four of them had had a partial response. Uh, in addition, we had partial responses in the colorectal cancer group and gastroesophageal cancers, as well as other tumor types, in, including endometrial cancer and ovarian cancer. So overall, you know, this is very interesting you know, uh, signal, uh, you, know, you know, very promising in that this is monotherapy without uh, the addition of chemotherapy and quite a bit of efficacy in a well-tolerated agent across tumor types.